Okay, so in today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make this beautiful, elegant stitch. Um, it's very easy, and I think you're going to really enjoy this. Um, you can use any yarn that you want, any size hook you want. I would recommend using the hook size that's on your yarn label, but you can always veer from that and um, use whatever you would like. Well, this is a chain multiple of any even number. I'm using a medium four weight yarn for this tutorial and a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on this. We're going to um, make a slip knot. You uh, take your finger and yarn over, yarn around your finger like this. Pull the yarn off the finger. Take your working yarn and pull up. Make yourself a loop. Insert your hook in that loop and pull to tighten. So now I'm going to, since it's a chain multiple of any even number, I'm going to chain 10 for this sample here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we have our 10 chains. And we're going to start in the fifth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, five. So in this fifth chain, we're going to make a cluster. So here is how the cluster is going to work. Going to yarn over, search your hook in the fifth chain from the hook, yarn over, pull through to the height of a double crochet. You're going to do that two more times. Yarn over, search your hook in that same chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook in that same chain space, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Now we're going to um, yarn over and go through all six loops on your hook, leaving this last hook on there. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through the last two loops on our hook. You just made a cluster. And we're going to chain one. We're going to skip this next chain, and in this chain, we're going to make another cluster. So yarn over, Insert your hook in that next chain space. Yarn over, pull up your yarn to the height of a double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through to the height of a double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through six loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops and chain one. We're gonna skip the next chain, and in this chain, we're going to make a cluster again. Yarn over, insert your hook in that chain space, yarn over, pull up through the height of a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, and pull up your loop, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through to the height of a Double crochet, yarn over, pull through six loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And we're going to chain one. You have one chain left, so we are going to make a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook in that last chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. And so you have just finished row one. So now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. We're going to turn our work. So you have three clusters here. So now we're going to skip this first cluster and in this space right here, we're going to make a cluster. So yarn over, insert your hook in the chain one space. Yarn over, pull up to the height of a double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through to the height of a double crochet and do this one more time because you need seven loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all six loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And we're going to chain one. Let's do this again for this chain one space. We're going to make another cluster. And just remember, you'll need seven loops on your hook. 
when you do this. Okay, so you should have seven loops. Yarn over, pull through six loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. We're going to chain one. Okay. Now we're up here where our turning chain is. So we're going to work a double crochet in the third chain. So it's one, two, three. So let's make a double crochet, yarn over, insert our hook in that third chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go through two loops. Okay, so you have two clusters here and three here. So we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four. We're going to turn our work. Now for row three, we're going to cluster in this first chain one space. So let's make a cluster. One, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through six loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and chain one. Cluster in the next chain one space. One, two, and three. Go through six loops and go through two loops and chain one. Okay, so now we're going to cluster in this last um, chain one space, which was part of our chain four. So one more cluster. One, two, and three. Pull through six loops, pull through two loops. Now we're going to work a double crochet in the third chain. We're not chaining one. We're breaking a double crochet in the third chain. One, two, and three. Making a double crochet. Okay, so as you can tell, you have three two, three. So it's always going to work like that. Like here, I have nine clusters, then eight clusters, nine clusters, eight clusters, nine clusters. And that's the way it's going to be. It's always going to be one more on one row, one less on the other row, one more on one row on the next row, one less on the next row. And um, that will also help you. So let's do this again. Rows two and three are your repeat rows. So we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. Turn our work. And remember you have three here, so you're going to have two, and that will help you remember. Skip this first cluster. You don't crochet in here. You don't have a chain one in there to crochet in anyway. So crochet in the next two here. That was one, two, and three, yarn over, pull through six loops, yarn over, pull through two, chain one. Cluster in the next chain one space. That's one, two, and three. Pull through six loops, pull through one. Okay, and we're going to chain one, double crochet in the third chain. That was row two again. Now chain four, one, two, three, and four. Now turn your work. We're going to cluster in this first chain one, and then cluster, and then cluster. And you'll have three. So let's make another cluster here. One, two, and three. Pull through six loops. There we go. And then pull through two loops and chain one. Now another cluster right here. There's one, two, and three. Go through six, pull through two, and chain one. Now we're going to cluster in that last chain space right there. One, two, and three. Pull through six, pull through two. And then we're not going to chain one, we're going to double crochet in the third chain of our chain four. Just like that. And then you just keep repeating 
rows two and three. And um, this is how it's going to look. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoy this. I think it's a really easy, fun, and pretty stitch. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.